Hey everybody, it's Samantha. I just wanted to come here and give this update. This video is probably going to be multiple parts. Okay, so I'm just going to start at the beginning. So, on my last appointment with my oncologist, I go monthly because I have to get injections monthly. Um, my last appointment with my oncologist, we decided that we were going to not do a scan um, this month, but we were going to push it back to October. Um, because I've been getting scans every three months since my cancer returned, but since everything was so stable, he was like, why don't we just push it back to four? And so my scans were scheduled for mid-October. Then a couple weeks after my appointment with my oncologist, I started having this like little bit of pain under my right armpit. And I was like, that kind of feels familiar, but I just really hope that I'm wrong. Um, so I went in and had an appointment with the breast surgeons, and they did an ultrasound, and they found that it really looked like it was cancer, like they were like pretty sure that it was cancer. Um, and so they thought it would be best to have a PET scan to like double check and make sure there's like nothing else going on because they said that I could just have this lymph node removed and we could biopsy it when we remove it and then it would just be done and that's it. So my scan's actually now going to be tomorrow which is September 11th so it is like exactly when it would have been if we kept doing them at three um, three months instead of four. If you remember, I have been doing nuclear bone scans and CTs instead of like the PET scans, um, but they want to have just a full PET scan for this. They just think it'll be better. And so this PET scan will just kind of like take the place of those other scans. I shouldn't be worried about this because it's literally just one lymph node and one spot and they like ultrasounded around and tried to see if there was anything else um, wrong but they didn't really see anything so I shouldn't be worried but I'm just like so nervous about the scan especially because now I know there's something wrong I just don't want there to be something else I think I'm more nervous than other scans because if I just like go along thinking that everything's fine I don't have any symptoms of anything then there's no reason to believe that there's cancer in my body anywhere but as soon as I know now that it's really likely that there's cancer in this lymph node it makes me think like well what if there's cancer somebody somewhere else too and so I'm just like really nervous about the scan and I have been for like the last week because a week ago is when I had the appointment so yeah that's basically it um, I will give an update tomorrow after the scan after we get the results from that so yeah that's all for now <laughs> Hi everybody oh my gosh I'm wearing the same sweatshirt I just checked the last clip a lot has happened since the last time I updated. So Wednesday was my scans and um, I got the results on that same day and had an appointment with my oncologist to do all of the regular stuff. So what we found was there was that lymph node in the right, the right axillary node. And then there also was a little spot on my like hip bone um, kind of like toward the back though on the right side and um, it's just like a small spot but it's they think it's a new spot most of the other spots that were in my bones are like completely gone now um, my oncologist was like looking at it with the radiologist and they were like wow we've actually come a really long way from where I was in September last year when I had spots all throughout my spine and pelvis and those spots are like just not there and that just made me feel really good like thinking about that obviously knowing that there's another spot in my bone is kind of worrying because it's like why do these spots like keep popping up um, overall I think like 
the news is good and I have to keep telling myself that, but of course I like don't want new cancer to show up. So the plan is to remove the node with surgery and then do radiation on the spot in my hip bone. You can just do like three to five rounds of SBRT radiation if you know what that means. A bunch of stuff happened and a bunch of things started happening really fast. On Wednesday, my oncologist told me that he thought the plan should be that we remove the lymph node with surgery and we do radiation on the spot in my rib. But he said that he was going to take my case to tumor ward on Friday um, to just make sure and discuss it with other doctors. He called me on Wednesday night and said that he had already discussed it with a few doctors who all agreed with him. And... Um, so he was like, I'm pretty sure that this is going to be the plan, but like, we'll still take it to tumor board and see. Thursday, I got a call from the breast surgeon saying, hey, we have an opening for surgery on Monday, but we need you to come in and sign a consent form. So you need to come in on Friday to sign the consent so you can have surgery on Monday. And I was like, wow, that's amazing. I'm so glad that we can do it that fast because it makes me feel like we're just like taking action and, and taking things out so that they don't have any more time to grow which is like amazing because like most places probably I wouldn't have surgery for another month at least um, because that's just tends to be how fast things typically move and I don't know how it works in other countries because other people tell me from other countries that things take even longer than that um, so this was crazy that like I had my scan on Wednesday got results same day and then the surgery was going to be scheduled for the following Monday and so then I got another call from radiation was like, hey, we can start your planning session on Friday. And I was like, wow, like, um, isn't tumor board on Friday? Do you guys like want to talk about these things about the surgery or the radiation? And they were like, oh, yeah, well, we could schedule the appointments for after tumor board. And then the radiation oncologist got on the phone with me and he was like, look, I didn't know that you're being presented at tumor board. Your oncologist basically already had a mini tumor board talking to everybody in the hospital about this. So I think we're all on the same page, but obviously if something changes because of tumor board, then we won't do it. But um, I think that we basically know that this is going to be the plan. And I was like, great. So I did get a chance to talk with all of the doctors, the breast surgeon, the radiation oncologist, and my oncologist again on Friday, and I had appointment to appointment. The breast surgeon said that at tumor board, she suggested that maybe I should have a mammogram on the right side because it's a little bit weird that just I have one lymph node in the right side, um, but there's nothing in the right breast. So she was like, that's a little strange, so maybe we should do a mammogram to get a better picture of the breast, to make sure there's nothing there, and then while you're under anesthesia, we can just remove that. So then I went and got a mammogram, and the mammogram was all fine. So still, there's only just that one spot in the lymph node. And also on Friday, I met with a radiation oncologist. I had a pregnancy test done because they, like, need you to have a pregnancy test done before surgery and radiation, and I'm not pregnant. Surprise. I mean, it would be really, really hard for me to be pregnant on all of these medications. I had my radiation planning session. I got two new radiation tattoos. Um, and basically got set up with like the equipment that they're going to use for me for my radiation. So all of this is being set up so quickly and amazing. I just love my team of doctors. They're so quick, so fast, and they really care about me and my case and look at me as an individual and come up with plans that work for me. Um, you may be wondering, um, does this mean that you might be switching treatment because you have these spots growing? We're going to wait and see what happens with the pathology from um, the lymph node. Um, but I think a switch in treatment might be coming soon, but we don't know how soon that's coming. I think we might just stay on the same treatment unless there's some new information found from like the results of the biopsy from that lymph node and then we might switch because obviously there are some spots that are growing but overall things have been going really really well on this therapy so we might stick with this therapy for a little bit while longer and then if something changes down the road then switch the therapy 
So it's kind of tricky. I just wanted to share all of that. Um, that's just the kinds of things that go into it. There's not really one set plan. There's not really something where they're like, this is what we're going to do. Like at this point with stage four breast cancer, it's really just going to be based on my case specifically and what happens with my case. So I know that's really hard for some people to understand because some people are out here commenting and being like, you're so dumb. Like, why are you not doing this and this and this? Because I did this and this, or I heard of somebody doing this and this and this. And it's really hard for those people to understand that not all cancer is the same, but I'm just trying to explain that not all cancer is the same. And at this point, my care is going to be based on what is happening to me and the results from my scans and my surgeries and what my doctors and I think is best. And so yeah, I'm just trying to document that and give you guys an update. If you guys have any questions about anything, leave them in the comments. Yeah, that's all. Bye.